Hi guys, welcome to... Hello to you all. Today is a stage for the sprinters. Without any notable difficulty at the end of the stage, teams hoping for a mass sprint finish will have plenty of time to organise themselves for a high-speed finale. Guys, today it's clear that the sprinters will be aiming for victory. Any other result would be very surprising. Have a good stage. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. Collective fall. It may create gaps. The riders are into the more mountainous portion of the stage, with notably the two classified climbs to be tackled today. The first will earn one point for the first rider over the top, whereas the second will recompense the first two riders. Two points and one point in the battle for the polka dot jersey. You must constantly try to shelter from the wind so as not to consume energy. This is what allows a rider to edge clear at the end of the race. Well, on flat stages, that's not where you see the most drama. You can accelerate forward if you think that nothing important will happen. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. Bonk bag is coming up for the men in front. The breakaway is upping the tempo at the head of the race. It doesn't intend to be caught up that easily. The breakaway is losing ground. guys. The peloton should be there for the stage win. The head of the race is one and a half minutes lead on the peloton. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. Last time checked with a breakaway, one minute. Watch the demeanor. 
demeanor of the other sprinters, to know when to launch your sprint. If you start too soon, you will be unable to continue your effort to the line. If you start too late, you will not have time to work your way to the front. Teams are organizing for the final showdown. The sprinters are primed. There will be soon be burning rubber. This stage is his. He was the strongest. Here is today's stage winner. Weak, weak, weak. He will close. Well done, lads. Congratulations to you. We were the pre-race favorites, and you lived up to the role with Brio. Well done for this win. We hit the ground running, and tomorrow we'll have the honor of defending the yellow jersey. Hi, guys. Let's start the briefing for this stage. The main thing to grasp to... Hello to all. The last finish of the Tour de France in Toulouse in 2019 crowned Caleb Ewan. Given the profile of the stage, there's more than a good chance of, once again, seeing a true sprinter raise his arms in the Pink City. OK, lads. There shouldn't be too many surprises today. Even if there are a few short climbs, they won't scare the speed merchants. It should finish in a sprint. Wearing the jersey implies certain responsibilities. Team members must ensure the tempo of the race, and they, therefore, tire more. That is why it is sometimes better not to take the overall lead too early, in order to avoid tiring one's team. The first climb of the day is classified as fourth category. There will be one point that goes towards the mountain standings. You must constantly try to shelter from the wind, so as not to consume energy. This is what allows a rider to edge clear at the end of the race. The breakaway is losing ground. The next difficulty is listed as a Category 4. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. Breakaway is upping the tempo at the head of the race. It doesn't intend to be caught up that easily. Well, on flat stages, that's not where you see the most drama. You can accelerate forward if you think that nothing important will happen. 
The intermediate sprint is looming for the front of the race. The first 15 riders follows towards the green jersey. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. Watch out! You're not going to be able to attack for much longer! You've got to ride, guys, if you want a chance of a sprint victory! Riders up front still have something left. They're upping the pace to try to hold out till the end. The next difficulty is listed as a Category 4. There will be only one point to be scored towards the best climber classification. The first riders are two kilometers from the climb. The breakaway is in the sight of the peloton. There's little chance that it can hold off the sprinters' teams. Watch the demeanor of the other sprinters. To know when the sprint. If you start too soon, you will be unable to continue your effort to the line. If you start too late, you will not have time to work your way to the front. Okay, I'm coming to protect you. The sprinters' teams have managed this stage perfectly. Five kilometers out, the peloton is bunched and everything is in place for a mass sprint. The sprinters are ready to fight it out. Well positioned on the wheel of their team members, they'll soon be burning rubber. Bunched peloton. The red pennant for the peloton. This stage is here. He will clutch. He's in. He's a mu We. The podium is good, but I was expecting more from you. We should have. Hi guys, let's do Hello cycling fans everywhere. Although there is no major difficulty today, the roads of the Tarn and Aveyron are often tiring and riders must be sure to keep up their strength throughout the day to hopefully edge clear. <laughs> 
the final climb where in 2017 Michael Matthews outdistanced Greg van Avermaet to win the 14th stage of the Tour de France. The breakaway riders are increasing the gap. They are not dangerous for the overall standings. We can let them go. Time gap stabilised. The gap is decreasing. The peloton has not given up. The breakaway is upping the tempo at the head of the race. It doesn't intend to be caught up that easily. Last time checked with the breakaway. One minute. The gap is widening. No need to panic, guys. There's nobody dangerous for the overall standing. The first King of the Mountains Summit is classified as a Category 3. There will be two points and one point to be scored at the top. The race leaders are approaching the intermediate sprint. is not far off. Stay awake. It will soon start to move in the peloton. The breakaway is unlikely to go all the way, guys. Watch out for counter moves. Last time check with the breakaway. One minute. Collective fall. It may create gaps. The next difficulty is listed as third category. There are only 10 kilometers left to go, and no one has managed to get away for the stage win. Kilometers. Nobody has yet managed to gain the upper hand. Kilometer, it will be decided in a sprint. It's good. 
good. You're back on top of the overall youth standing. Ladies and gentlemen, a plot week he will easy talk. Well done, lads. Congratulations to you. We were the pre race favourites and Hi guys, let's start the briefing for this stage. Hello cycling fans everywhere, here's a short mountain stage of only 121 kilometers, however it's a grandiose finish, the Col du Tourmalet. It is quite simply the most visited mountain pass of the Tour de France, and yet only three stage finishes have been fought out at the summit. The climbers will have their hearts set on shining on those slopes in order to succeed Jean-Pierre d'Anguillaume. Andy Schleck and Thibaut Pinot, the three previous winners. The stage starts on a low key with a fourth category climb, the Côte de Miramontes. One point for the mountain standings. The next difficulty is also listed as a category four and is followed almost immediately by the day's intermediate sprint. Good enough, lads. There's no way we can lose the green jersey today. It's good. He has ambitions for the polka dot jersey. The Peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. The break away. It can't widen the gap. The gap with the yellow jerseys melting away. The SKPs will have difficulties going all the way to the finish. The riders are at the foot of the first true ascent of the day, the Col of the Soulor. Often part of the tour route, this part of the really figures in the mountain's classification. The points are generally given out at the top of the Col d'Aubisque, which is a direct extension of the Soulor. Thirty seconds between the breakaway and the yellow jersey. Yellow 
Jersey is one minute 30 away from him. Breakaways passing through the feed zone. The breakaway increases its lead on the yellow jersey group. The gap between the favourites group and the front is 30 seconds. The advance of the lead group should be enough to carry it to the end. The riders up front have a one minute lead on the favourites group. The two Malays, a mythical pass where all the greats have been first to the summit. From Kopi to Bahamontes, including Merckx and Van Imp, all have gone over the top of the front. It's also one of the rare mountain passes on the tour whose summit is over 2,000 metres. A true giant. There will be 20, 15, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4 and 2 points to be shared out at the summit for the best classification. Okay, I'm coming to protect you. The gap between the favourites group and the front is 30 seconds. The men at the front are now onto the steep slopes of the Tourmalet. He's being left behind. It's good news for the overall standing. The gap is one minute between the favourites and the guy in the front. Change of leader in the overall youth standing. Ladies and gentlemen, applaud him loudly. We can see he's a he's a he will.
This result is clearly not up to my expectations. It isn't catastrophic. It's the final stage, guys. It'll be a very demanding... We really messed up this stage. We were aiming for a stage win, and we didn't even finish in the top ten. It's very disappointing.